Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Hello all dinosaurs, I'm Dan and today we have a box of how to train your dragon toys. And I need the help of you guys to name some of these dragons which I don't know, okay? The first one right here. Can you guys please tell me what is the name of this dragon? Because I've totally forgotten about this. Is it like Thunder Drum? Not too sure. Alright, let's move on. This is the latest Light Fury. So if you press both legs together, the wings will flap. This is Toothless Girlfriend. Next up, we have um, the Monstrous Nightmare Hook Fang right here. So if you move this leg, the jaw will actually just close and it will just trigger a projectile. Okay, this is pretty cool. You can actually move the wings as well. The tail is soft and flexible and you can actually sit um, it's not locked here, over here, all right? And this is another um, Light Fury figure. And this comes with um, lights and sound. So once you press this, the wings are supposed to flap open and you can hear some noises. And this portion right here will actually shine. So this is the Light Fury figure for you. Next up, we have Stormfly. All right, this also comes with projectile. Okay, pretty cool looking. But it's actually very small. We will do a comparison with the older Stormfly later on. Next up, we have Buff and Belch, and this is actually um, an old figure which I really like. I think this is better than the new one. Okay, let's move on. This is actually Astrid in her dragon armor suit, which is fireproof. And this is the deluxe dragon, toothless deluxe dragon. So you can actually place the wings into these two holes. And let me just switch on the um, this switch right here. And once you press this button, okay, this is actually very loose. So once you press the button, the wings will just flap open. So it's a Actually a very nice figure. You can see lights glowing from this portion right here. Yep, nice figure. This is actually a um, 2019 figure. But if you do a comparison with um, the older Toothless, this is actually Toothless with the racing stripes. Which one do you guys think um, looks better? If you ask me, I would go with um, the racing stripes to be honest. I feel the size it's way better and it's way more realistic. It doesn't look so cartoonish. What do you guys think? Yep, this is a very nice figure. I really like this. Are this supposed to be like a um, WAP? Or is it just mine? Let's see. This is actually made in 2014. Yep. And you can see the wings are actually slightly translucent. This is a very nice figure. We have some um, minifigures. This is from 2014 as well. Um, it is actually written 2013. I'm not too sure whether this is known as the Thunder Drum. I can't remember, but it is like a sea dragon. And I still have one of this in its original packaging. So this is two flares without the racing stripes. We have one with the racing stripes. And this is another two flares figure, which is really, really nice. This is a nice one. Um, I think this is broken because as you press, um, 
both legs together, the wings are supposed to be flapping, I guess. But it is no longer working. It's a pity. But that's okay. Let's move on. Um, we have Snot Lot. Is that how you pronounce his name? Yep. And we have a minifigure of Toothless. And this is actually a 2014 um, figure. Nice figure. Let's do a comparison later on. And this is another version. You can see this portion here is still in red. Because in the new movie, Hiccup has actually painted it um, black. Okay, so this is the Cloud Jumper. Cloud Jumper. This is the old version. I think we have a new version somewhere inside. Oh my goodness, did I just leave it out? Let me check please, okay? Just give me one second. I don't think we have a Cloud Jumper big figure. And we have the Bewilder Beast. I think this is the good one. Because the bad one actually has a broken horn. And it is no longer bad because it has it was seen in How to Train a Dragon of Three. And it was in the hidden world with the rest of the dragons. This is a screw. We have a huge screw right here. This is a very rare figure. Beautiful figure. This portion here is flexible. Um, I think my frill is no longer working. It's kind of spoiled, but it's fine. So you press this button. Oh, I think this is supposed to be activating the projectile but it is no longer working yeah as you guys can see the wings are supposed to flap open but it's not working very well but it's fine so this was the old stormfly you can actually rotate this and the mouth will just fire different projectiles so let's do a comparison on the face which one is better Hmm, not too sure what you guys think, but I love this, you know, trans translucent wings. It's really nice, I love it. Um, we have some minifigures, Hook Fang. These are the new figures, and Stormfly, they definitely look more, um, they look cuter, and this is the old screw. This is actually a mystery mini of Hiccup. Not a huge fan of Funko figures, to be honest. And this figure, it's um, the new 2019 figure. This is a Hiccup with some nice illuminating stripes. I think this came together with the Light Fury. And we have the villain from how to train your dragon 2, I think his name is Draco. Draco, Draco. Yeah, this is a fantastic figure. Fantastic figure. And this one right here, um, it's Toothless. This was actually, um, this is actually a new one. So it's pretty cool. You can actually fire a projectile. So that's nice. Okay, let's move on. I think we should have more um, dragons. I want to get the Death Gripper really soon. So this is the new minifigure, which is really nice. The old Funko Mystery Mini, two flesh. Comes in different um, poses, and this is another figure of Toothless in the Dragon Armor suit. This one came together with Toothless. So, if you do a comparison, both are actually holding um, the flaming sword, but one has the illuminating light. So, I guess this one is where he entered the. Um, I mean, not 
yeah, it's like in the um, hidden world. And this is Skull Crusher. He grabs that um, dragon and with the mini not light fury. And this is the projectile of um, Toothless. Is this Hook Fang? I think so. So if I got any names wrongly, please let me know. I can't remember the name of this as well. C... I think it's C something. I can't remember. Buff and Belch. This is like a shiny toothless. Oh, I love this. This is brilliant. So this is apparently like one of the rarest. So cause from the entire box I only got one. What is this? Another skull crusher. This is actually a bootleg figures. I'll be doing another how to train a dragon toys video, some unboxing. And this should be meat lock, I, I guess. Um, Arid. This was actually from um, what do you call it? A book that comes with different minifigures, and we have a very nice figure of Cloud Jumper. This is awesome. This is a new twenty uh, nineteen minifigure. We have um, a uh, another Light Fury. Two flesh, once again. Stormfly. Draco's X. What's the name of this? Oh my goodness, there's so many sea dragons which I can't remember. And um, the old um, toothless mini figure, which is so nice. Is this like the Timber Jack? I'm not too sure. I can't remember. I think this looks more like Hook Fang. Yeah, this should be Hook Fang. And I got this from someone he gave me, but without the wings. So that's a pity. Oh, this is one rare figure. This is Cloud Jumper. One of the minifigures from the past. So Cloud Jam Jumper has the X wings. Two pairs of wings. This is the Timber Jack. This is a timber jack right here. This came together with the the that book. I can't remember the name of that book. Okay, another mini figure. Two more minis. Light furies. Another mini right here. There's another one. This one has some some really cool hidden stripes so once you put it inside its playset the stripes will actually glow and this came in that book set and not a minifigure of Toothless so all, that, all these figures are actually pretty rare I would say it's not easy to get them because How to Train a Dragon is not as popular I would say as like Jurassic World so definitely they are hard to find Hook finger gas. Yeah. And this is another pack of toothless in its original packaging because I really love this and just want to keep it in its original state. Two more figures. It's cool. Another one right here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pack all this you know back into the box later after this video. So let me know, yep, whether you guys like this video, whether you guys want me to make more Dragon Toys video because you know, you guys have seen so many dinosaur videos in my channel. So I thought you might want to see my collection of um, Dragon Toys. So yep, I'm a fan of um, How to Train Your Dragon series and I can't wait to watch that movie again. I've seen it in the cinema and I can't wait to watch it on the DVD. 
All right, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, do give it a thumbs up, share it, and drop me a comment, and I'll try my best to reply to you as soon as possible. And if you're new here, my name is Dan. I upload dinosaur videos every single day. Yes, dinosaur videos, sometimes dragons, sometimes other toys. So make sure you subscribe if you like dinosaurs, you know, Jurassic World, How to Train a Dragon, if you like Avengers. I do upload some Avengers figures, you know, sometimes, occasionally, okay? So, yep. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video, but before you go, as usual, check out our previous video right here if you have missed it and all the other related videos. My name is Dan, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. I'm going to place all these um, toys back into this box, and later on, I will just... Um, them up nicely because I have to actually keep every single one of them in an individual bag so I'm gonna make sure every toy it's it's safely kept yeah safely wrapped up as well so that's really important for me so I'm gonna make sure every toy it's nicely kept in its best condition so that once I move into a new house with a room which I can just place all my dinosaur toys out I'll be able to um, display them nicely that will be really cool but as you guys can see all these dragons they come in all sorts of sizes and stuff so it's not easy to actually keep them inside one box and it's not easy to display them as well because they are very wide not like the um, you know dinosaurs they are much easier to keep oh if you're still here you know thanks for watching it means that you are a true dinosaur see you guys tomorrow goodbye